Man, you know on cold days like these, you end up looking around the house for your earmuffs, and you remember how you ripped them in half to use as coasters for the piano legs? <laughs> well, don't panic. Here's a way you can make your own earmuffs. Get yourself a couple of cottage cheese containers. Seem to have a lot of these around our house. I don't know why. I don't eat cottage cheese or anything else you scrape off a cottage. <laughs> and what you want to do is uh, hook these together with a croquet hoop. Actually, just like this. I suppose I could have done this with a coat hanger, but you know, I like to go high end whenever I can. Now you need to put something inside the containers to keep your ears warm. How about insulation? There's a no-brainer, huh? <laughs> You can go R12 with these, or R24. Actually, if you're fighting Mike Tyson, you might want to use steel wool. <laughs> and it's just, I say it's just that simple. I'll tell you, <laughs> your ears will never be warmer. Or it's your... <laughs> Kind of a kind of a rough day at the lodge. Possum van broke down right in the middle of town, and it was rush hour, so I held up two other vehicles. <laughs> I mean, the, the van's a bit finicky, but I can usually get her going. You know, I mean, wiggle the ignition wires under the dash there, or empty a three out three into the carburetor. <laughs> but uh, boy, nothing seemed to work on her. We ended up having to push the van all the way back here to the lodge. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> the emergency brake on the van, but it was already on. I wonder if that's why the van was so hard to push. No, 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 no. The emergency doesn't work on that thing. I just, I leave it on for show, pal. <laughs> you guys look a little sore, you all right? Well, we are sore, because, see, we were on the outside pushing while you were on the inside driving. <laughs> yeah, but don't forget the power steering wasn't working. <laughs> why didn't you just call a tow truck? A tow truck? Yeah. That's a hundred bucks, Tom. I can replace the van for 75. <laughs> Wait a minute, I think I smell an entrepreneurial opportunity here. I don't like it when you smell things. <laughs> no, what if there was a cheaper way for people to get help with their vehicles? Oh, like, like an auto club. Boy, we could start our own auto club. We could get people to pay five bucks a month, and if they had a problem, they'd call us and we'd come. Oh, yeah, because we got enough service vehicles among us here. Sure. I mean, look at my sewage truck. That thing goes like stink. <laughs> That thing is stink. You know, I got the K-cars. I use the Aries because it's a wagon. Of course, you can't trust the Reliant. You know, you guys might be on something here. Yeah, yeah, I think it's a great idea. You might think about joining yourself. Yeah, well, well, you guys get the van running, and I'll give you the five bucks. No, 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 nice try. <laughs> nice try, Red. No, I'm in the sewage business. I take all my money up front. Well, no, I, I can't pay you until you get it running because I need it to take back the empties. <laughs> It's time to play the Possum Lodge word game. <laughs> and what a great prize. Mike, have you ever won a trip to France? No, no, I haven't. Well, if you ever do, you'll want to take this French English dictionary with you. <laughs> OK, Red, you have 30 seconds to get Mike Hammer to say this word, exam. Exam. Yeah, yeah, all right, Ed. Exam. All right. Okay, and go. Okay, Mike, uh, this is something you took in school. Uh, bikes, no. <laughs> Walkmans, uh, lunch money, oh, lunches yeah. themselves, oh, chalk, Mike. Uh, uh, trophies, uh, light bulbs, uh, overhead projectors. Those are heavy. No, no, Mike. No, no. Okay, this is why you had to cram. Oh, to get everything in the backpack. <laughs> okay, Mike. This is something you had to pass to get out of school. Oh, okay. The hall monitor. <laughs> Think of a big room, lots of desks, lots of students in there. Nobody's allowed to talk. Detention. <laughs> like, this is a test, and you had to pass this test or you wouldn't graduate. Oh, 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 the polygraph. <laughs> You're almost out of time, Brent. I can't believe you graduated high school. How'd you pass? 
I cheated on every exam. Here we go. This is where I work. I'm working here now. Harold, everybody's in a suit here. You all dress the same. Nobody's gonna notice that one suit is gone. Now, come on. We are not all just suits. Each and every one of us is an independent, functioning individual. Just because we all happen to dress well and work in a corporate environment that's similar to every corporate environment. But where do you want to take me, anyway? Up to the lodge, of course. Oh, no. No. No, I'm not going to the lodge. Uh-uh. What's so important, I have to go now. Well, Harold, we come up with this great idea. Everybody's all for it. We're ready to go. And, let me tell you, we got no opposition, Harold. We got no different point of view. You know, remember how you used to play devil's advocate and you'd pretend you didn't like those ideas that I came up with? I wasn't pretending. They were bad ideas. They were all bad. You never had a good idea. Just bad ideas. What's the idea you have now? We're thinking about turning the lodge into a part-time daycare center for preschoolers. No, 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 no. That's, that's a bad idea. That's, that's bad on so many levels. Well, oh, this is exactly what I'm talking about, this disapproval thing. We need this. No, Uncle Red, no, the lodge members, they're incompetent, they're irresponsible, they're dangerous, they don't know a thing about watching over children. This is great, this is great. So you have a real knack for this kind of thing. Uncle Red, you gotta have government forms, it's gotta be legal, all sorts of stuff. Just come up to the lodge with me and tell the guys this stuff, eh? They need to hear all this, Harold. Come on, come on. Do you think that I'll really be able to change someone's point of view? No, no, but just knowing you're against it makes us all feel so much better. <laughs> That's the important thing. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> Red Green, welcome. Yeah. You are welcome here, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, can I bounce something off you? It's not an animal, is it? <laughs> no, please. No. <clears throat> I'm thinking of installing fire alarms on all the trees. That way, if there's ever a fire, the animals themselves would have the power to save their own homes. Gert, you know, you know it's not good to spend your whole life alone. <laughs> now nah, you're right. Yeah. You're right. No, I'm, I'm, uh, I bet you the animals would pull the alarm just to get attention, you know? <laughs> Fire or no fire, I bet you the squirrels would pull it if they were having trouble finding nuts. Yeah, they're so anal, you know? No, no, I'm abandoning the whole fire alarm idea. Okay, that's a start. Yeah, now, I'm gonna go with a heat-activated water sprinkler system. Totally automatic, that way the animals wouldn't have to pull anything. Okay, uh, Gord, do you ever, like, take a break from this job, you know? A vacation or a long weekend, holiday, that kind of thing? Does lightning take a break, okay. Brett? Right. Does fire take a holiday? Do you think I want to do this job? How long do you think it's been since I've had a paycheck? Take a guess. I have no... Take a guess! <laughs> Seven... Never had a paycheck, Brett! Ever! <laughs> ever! Okay. They gave me the uniform. They said, here, try it out for a month. Then they said, see you later, bud! <laughs> oh, yeah. You mean you've been working for free here for 18 years? That's right, man. And why do you think I would have done that, Mr. Smarty Pants? Lack of alternative. Because I care! <laughs> because I care about people like you, about the animals, about the, those things that burn out there. I've given my life for your safety. And now all I ask for is some lousy water sprinklers, and all you can tell me is no. No, 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 I, no, I, no, I, no, I'm just saying, I'm just saying not right. Gord, Gord, I, I want you to come back with me now, yeah. and I want you to be with people for a little while, all right? Yeah. No. What? No, I can't, Red. I'm sorry, I can't. It's coming into the dry season, and I've got a lot of canned corn left. Only a few years left before it's expiring. <laughs> no, as much as I'd like to go with you, I can't. I can't leave the tar. Not for anything. Not for you, not for anything. Really, because uh, Bernice has lined up a girl she'd like you to meet. Really? What's she like? Well, she's real. Good enough. I know many of you guys are like me, that when you were a kid, well, you just dreamed about driving a dump truck, didn't you? Hey? And a lot of you guys, as you got older, you had to abandon your childhood dreams, and the rest of you are bachelors. So I thought, as a public service this week, I would show you how to turn an ordinary car into a dump truck. This car actually has two things that make it the perfect dump truck. Front-wheel drive and absolutely no resale value. I'll explain about the front-wheel drive in a minute, but first of all, I gotta customize the body a little bit. Now, uh, 
here's the beauty of the creative process. I need something to use as a divider between the driver and the load that I'll be dumping. Now, I'm not just going to head down to the auto supply store with a checkbook. Because the bank manager warned me about doing that again. No, I'm going to search for something that we can use out of our existing inventory. Like, say, this perfectly good trunk lid. All right. Uh, well, you know, you want to wear the welding goggles when you're doing that kind of work. He's supposed to put mine somewhere where I can't find them. He doesn't like me welding ever since we lost the garage. Anyway, now we're ready to actually install the dumping mechanism. And uh, for that, you got to put some stuff on the front wheels. Uh, get yourself a couple extra rims like this, and then you want to uh, attach some heavy pipe in a crisscross on the outside edge. Just weld that on there, too. Sure wish I had those goggles. <laughs> See, now, uh, these special wheels, once I line them up with a couple of step ladders, they become my dumping mechanism. Because when I throw her in drive, special wheels line the ladder, see? <laughs> That's why the car had to be front-wheel drive. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> Remember, if the women don't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy. And now, if you'll excuse me, it's time to dump. <laughs> You older guys who maybe feel bad because you don't have a lot of fancy things. No big mansion on the hill, no fancy six-figure luxury car, no shirts with a collar. <laughs> you know, when people spend a lot of money on something, they call that conspicuous consumption. I, mean, I don't understand it. First of all, consumption, I believe, is a disease that took my great-grandmother out of town. <laughs> And then the last thing I would want to be is conspicuous, you know? That's the reason I dress like this rather than like Liberace. <laughs> and there's other reasons too. But to me, the sign of wealth is not how much money you spend, it's how much money you waste. Right? <laughs> it's like a big house or a fancy car or even art. Well, that has value, that's worth something. You know, that's an investment, you know? That's for cowards, okay? <laughs> Your real high roller buys crap. <laughs> So when somebody tells you about some guy with a Rolls Royce and a 12-bedroom palace or something, you just show them your garden weasel and your thigh master and your Star Trek plates. <laughs> and you can just say, yeah, they're not worth anything, but you know what? I don't care. <laughs> Remember, I'm pulling for you. We're all in this together. Hello, Possum Lake Auto Club. Yeah. Well, what's it doing? Put gas in it? <laughs> Holy cow, that's a lot of gas. <laughs> yeah, that could catch on fire. It has. <laughs> okay, well, uh, you better call a fire truck because the, it is a fire truck. <laughs> okay, well, uh, someone will be right over, okay? Junior Singleton needs a service call, says the fire truck's on fire again. Well, how does that affect us, Dalton? We're an auto club. Well, Junior says it's an ignition problem. Well, I'm not going over there. I've been up all night doing service calls, for crying out loud. Well, somebody better go over there. Well, somebody's going to go over there. <laughs> all right, fine. I'll get Winston to go. All right. <laughs> we got to rethink this whole auto club. First of all, 24 hours a day? Whose plan was that? That's too many hours and too many days. For... And then we got the actual vehicles. The members, they all got crap vehicles. Everybody, they're all breaking it. We're not worrying about it. You got to have a good vehicle and you got to maintain a crap, otherwise you're not. And five bucks Hello? a month? Where do we come up with five bucks? Excuse me, Mr. Green. Not right now, Mike, okay? <laughs> Someone's expecting you. Well, tough beans, okay? I'm, 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 I'm not going to let them rattle my chain. I'm taking the day off. Tell them I'm taking the day off. Okay. Yeah. No, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Tell them I'll come over there when I'm good and ready. And meanwhile, why don't they go suck eggs? Did you hear that? <laughs> they hung up. <laughs> yeah. Okay.
Doesn't that feel good, Mike? Stand up for yourself once in a while? Well, you better enjoy it while you can. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Who was that, anyway? It's your wife. You're supposed to pick her up at the grocery store. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Cookout planned out behind the lodge, uh, Mike and Dalton and myself. Just making a little campfire area there, and then we needed some wood to put into the thing, so we had a bunch of axes, and careful now, careful, careful. Oh, See, that's a, there's, a, there's a safety. Oh. Not sure what kind of wood that is or what kind of axe that is. All right, Mike, you give her a go. Stand back, Dalton. Yeah. Can't be too careful around Mike. Oh. Uh, yeah, went over over in the other over in the other area. Yeah, it's around. Look on the ground. It should be there. It is. Okay. Not sure how we're gonna get that uh, tree down. We need. To, we can't have a fire without wood. Well, oh, Dalton, okay, Dalton, you give her a go. He's a little. He's a little shaky. Dalton, no, no. Okay. Well, there's our wood. All right, now we had all the vegetables and Mike was bringing the meat. <laughs> and uh, boy, it, uh, there's enough for all of us there. And there's nothing like fresh pork, is there? Uh, so we had the corn and the potatoes and the beans and everything, and just, that's all we got to do. Now, the way we're gonna, they're wondering how we're gonna cook this, and you always gotta be creative. And these are, these are crutches from our earlier adventure. And uh, just you stick them in the ground, one on each side of the campfire. And then uh, what you do is you run a hockey stick right through, uh, across the lower. Now that's, uh, see that? And then to keep her warm, you put her up top, see? So all we got to do now, of course, is, uh, get, what do you got there, Mike? Oh, oh, a little extra bonus for the pig's mouth. Oh yeah, okay, okay, great. We're all set, okay, Mike, good idea. And you brought the pig, so away you go. Away you go. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Well, you can't cook them alive, Mike. Where you go? Where you go? Come on. Come on. Where you go? Go on. Go on. Oh, All right. All right. All right. All right, Dalton. All right, Dalton. You, you get it. You get him. You got him. Just, just so that he's not going to. Come on, Dalton. Just get one quick one that's over with. Come on. Where you go? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, for your sake. What? Oh. All right. Yeah. All right. Um, all right. Yeah. All right, all right. And uh, boy, I tell you, it all worked out in the end. Uh, it's a great day, and what a great meal we had. It's just there's something about the camaraderie of the whole deal. Everybody had a good meal. This is the repair shop part of the show we call, if it ain't broke, you're not trying. Joining me today is uh, Dalton Humphrey. What can I do for you, Dalton? Well, Brad, I was hoping you could unjam this gumball machine. Why? I didn't know you had gumballs at the everything store. No, no, I don't. No, this is from the mall. Yep, uh, my quarter got stuck in it. <laughs> Trying to get a gumball out, machine jam. No, I got no gumball, I got no quarter. Put her up on the bench, see what I can do. You got your... Uh... <laughs> Almost looks like you got your thumb caught in there, though. <laughs> Maybe. Well, I can I can see the coin. Oh, I know. Oh, don't you just want to smash it in a million pieces? Yeah. Yeah, this might just. Here we go. I got oh. it. I got it. Oh, that's oh. not a quarter. That's a penny. <laughs> well, well, you look at that, huh? That's how you wrecked it. You jammed a penny in there because you're too cheap to put a quarter in. Oh, Michael. You know what must have happened? I must have accidentally put a penny in when I was going for a quarter. And, uh -huh. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. here's the quarter right here. All right, all right. That's what must have happened. Well, I got I'm the not, wrong I'm coin. You need and... to use this to get your thumb out of <laughs> there, Dalton. All right. Easy, easy, easy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. She's working great. <laughs> this my gum. Oh, sorry. Well, okay, we're having kind of a disagreement on the whole auto club thing. Boy, the van breaks down, he calls the auto club, which he's the boss of, and then he makes us push the van all the way back into town again. <laughs> well, uh, I'm not just the auto club president, I'm also a client. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, but that's the customer taking advantage of the merchant, which is a complete reversal of the entrepreneurial spirit. I don't understand why we need an auto club anyway. I mean, when my car doesn't go, I just hotwire another one. Yes, Mike, but for those of us who don't enjoy prison food, I think we maybe have to come up with a better solution, guys. Well, I think we should just abandon the auto club. Oh, no refunds, though. I'm not giving people their money back. No, no, we'll, we'll just tell them to get jumper cables and a can of gas and let them solve their own darn problem. Yeah, they can help one another out, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, jeez, on any given day, surely there's one car around here that works. Boy, that's so beautiful. I mean, can you imagine a world where people help one another without charging money for it? That only happens in disaster movies. Well, I don't think we could make that big a disaster. Well, the show's getting there. Oh, time, let's go, guys. All right, you, you guys, go. I'll be down in a sec. Um, so my, if my wife is watching, um, sorry I didn't pick you up at the grocery store there, and uh, we're having a problem with the phones. Um, <laughs> Apparently there's a there's a little phrase that's just coming kind of a random comes onto the line. It's something to do. Apparently they tell me it's a digital convergence through an analog source on a rotary phone, and <laughs> so you, you it's possible that you might have heard what you thought was me saying, "Go suck eggs." <laughs> so, but I, but but I've looked into it and 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 I found the problem, and and, and it won't happen again. I promise. And uh, the rest of you, thanks for watching on behalf of myself and the whole gang up here at Possum Lodge. Keep your stick on the ice. Okay, guys, sit down. Everybody, sit down. Sit down, guys. Come on, sit down. Sit down. Everybody down. There we go. All right. All right. Quando omni plunkus mortalis. Sit down. All right, bow your heads for the man's prayer. I am a man. But I can change if I have to. I guess. <laughs> but if your tire needs a change, you can do it yourself. Amen. <laughs>